Let's go to work. I farted around a lot this morning, so uh, I'm running a little late, later than usual. Still may make it to work by now. All right, let's go. It all feels funny. My seat feels out of whack. I'll link in the description box what I'm wearing on my face. Uh, I would say if you want long wear foundation and your main concern is not doing this, I would use that uh, Cover FX, which makes me think I put the wrong primer in one of my other videos. It's blurring. It's not illuminating. Did I put illuminating primer? I'll have to go back and check that. Uh, I would say it, the combination of that primer and that foundation feels a little tight. And I did put the rose flavored setting spray uh, Fix Plus. That's why it looks glow. It looks glowy, but it feels tight. You know what I would like? I would like for it to feel dewy and look matte. Nah, I probably wouldn't want it to look matte either. It's kind of aging, right? Alright, so I used Raisin as my contour this time. Do we like that? And then I used uh, Fit Me Fard as my blush. I took the lipstick down a little bit. I didn't like it quite so glossy. It looked like what my dad used to say. It looked like a lip gloss. I'd eaten a lip gloss sandwich. I thought it was too too glossy. So I'm going to find my new matte. Somebody stole my new lipstick. I want my new one. There it is. Found it. Price is averted. It's uh, feeling sentimental. Like it. Alright. My fragrance today is the Rag and Bone Oddity which smells like an ashtray. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. Oh. You just I get uh Lord sent me the sampler box of Rag and Bone and I pulled some of the ones that could go a, ma a man could wear that I knew Pat would really like I pulled those out and gave them to Pat just to be nice not because I didn't like them and not because I wouldn't wear them because I certainly would anyway one of them was the oddity out of that and he loves it too he's really enjoying his Tom Ford beard conditioner in the flavored tobacco vanilla. I think it's probably quite toned down since it's going to be right there on his face, you know. He says he can smell it. I can't smell it. I, I need to get him a new bottle of tobacco vanilla. His birthday is in November, so that would be a perfect time because that tobacco vanilla of course, all the fragrances I wear and I like are really heavy, but that would be a good time because that is a very heavy fragrance to get him a new bottle of tobacco vanilla. They got another one that's called, I think it's Whiskey Oak Barrel or something. I don't know. He'd like that one too because... He loves, he loves his bourbon. Anyhow, how does that fit into keto? I don't know. You'll have to talk to him about that. He, I guess because he's so low carb, he can budget that into his, his carbs for the day. I don't think there's very many carbs in it. So I was watching Dr. Berg yesterday. And it said, he said that 
Accutane causes liver damage. And you know how I was complaining that I couldn't even have two glasses of wine and I would have a hangover from hell. I did I did Accutane about and he says it can hit like 27 it it'll, it'll it could show up as late as 27 years later. Let's see when did I do Accutane? I probably did Accutane in maybe the year 2000 maybe. It was soon after my last child was born, and evidently I wasn't eating properly. I don't know. I'm sure I wasn't. I wasn't keto. I sure wasn't eating low carb. Anyway, I had acne from hell. My face actually hurt. I'm sure it hurt everybody else to look at me, but it was awful. Anyway, instead of trying to fix it with diet, I went on Accutane. So I wonder if I have some liver damage. The world may never know. Anyway, that was just interesting. Because he had a list of drugs that when they came, it's, uh, I guess the title of his video was Backed by Science. And it was a list of drugs that when they came out, they were, you know, oh, this is the best thing. And then, you know, years later, they found that it was dangerous. Anyway, he had a whole video on that, if you're interested. I'll try to remember to link it. Sometimes I don't link them because I feel like y'all don't care anyway. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking to hear myself talk. Wow, did I remember? Put, I did put my phone in here. I'm such a big girl. So yeah, our Wi-Fi went out last night. We're on Comcast. They, I feel like they're, they don't, divorce law? Why would a divorce law be following me? Too old for that. Even if it wasn't working out. Right? I could lose my phone and it wouldn't matter because most of everything I get, text messages, emails, phone, everything, is somebody trying to get money out of me. One out of ten things that come through on that phone is somebody wanting me to do makeup. The rest of it is bullshit. So what did I watch? Okay, so I was watching uh, Breaking Point last night. It's a ballet company in called Ballet West, I guess, in, in Utah, Salt Lake City, maybe. Some of them aren't very skinny. I thought ballerinas had to be skinny. I guess they're whoever they partner up with has to be really strong if they're not, you know, way thin. Who am I to say? Anyway, so the Wi-Fi went out and there weren't any good videos to watch on the, on the video tuber. I swear. I remember this. Every summer, like, all the YouTubers must go on sabbatical. Because there's nothing good to watch. A couple of years I did, uh, like, summer marathons. There's no point in my doing that now because it's I put them out I put videos out so often now that it wouldn't be any different, right? So so I know somebody asked me to do a hooded eye look or talk about doing hooded eyes. So I'll get onto this subject. The reason I don't have models to do makeup on other than myself is it gets so messy like nobody does something for nothing you know what I mean as a favor no one will just sit in my chair I've tried it every time I've tried it I've gotten 
burnt. Either they won't cooperate. I had one person cooperate with me. She showed up at my office. I filmed a makeup look. And she was very cooperative. She was real sweet about it. We're not friends anymore. Something else happened. She was nice that day. She chewed my ass out because uh, about something in public, out loud, embarrassed me to death. Anyway, I cut her off and then, and then I forgave her and tried to be friends again and I ghosted her. <laughs> And she was, she's as stubborn as I am. She wouldn't, she wouldn't forgive me. That was it. So there you have it. Done and done. So she was cooperative. But I've had, like, I've had another one that she found out that I had hit a thousand and you start earning, you know, pennies here and there for views from YouTube. She wanted a cut. Because she was in one of my videos. No. And the video we did was to promote her business. I swear. Son's girlfriend was in a video. I was doing her prom makeup hair and makeup. She didn't ask for anything in return. She was sweet about it. I really don't network very much. That's part, that's something that if I was going to work on something with my business that I could work on would be networking, getting out, meeting people, making friends, asking people if they would sit in a YouTube video for me. That makes me exhausted just to think about it. So Taco was, he's getting more and more where he resents us leaving the house. I told y'all that the other day, or I told somebody in the comments that, okay, Sunday we came home from church, I edited a video, went to the gym, and as I was coming home from the gym, Pat was leaving to go out of town. And when I got up to the front door, Taco was sitting in the middle of the den crying because he'd been left. He thought that was it. It's all over now. They're gone. They're not coming back. I'm all alone. And it's going to be that way. Well, he's getting to where he doesn't like to be left ever. Thus, see, I told you, we can't go out of town and leave him with a babysitter. If he's, Pat says he cries when I leave and Pat's there with him, he cries like his, his life is over and he won't have anything to do with Pat. Pat will ask him, does he want to go out? He'll Now, sometimes Taco's emotionally well enough that he will, uh, Pat invites him to go out in the garage and spot him while he lifts weights. Taco really, he really does. He thinks that's part of his job is to go out there and help Pat lift weights. And he'll go out there with him to do that until I get home. And then he wants to come in with me. He doesn't want to be out there with Pat. I don't know why. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> the camera had to cool off again. The dash was hot. It lasted longer than I thought it would. There's nothing wrong with my equipment. With my camera equipment, anyway. So I'm still reading the same book. I know, I read really super slow. I don't do like, I, I don't sit idly during the day and, you know, where I could lay there and read a book or sit and read a book. Years ago when <clears throat> I took, the boys to, you know, the park or to the beach or to the pool or whatever, I would read. I don't do much of that anymore. I don't do much sitting around anymore. Well, I guess when I sit around, I'm watching Netflix. I don't know. It's a season. 
when I was a kid, we had, we lived at the lake and I had a hammock. And I used to lay outside in the hammock and read all day. I love to read. I don't know why I'm not reading like I should. My, the author that I'm reading, what is her name? Elizabeth Gilbert? You know, it's the same one that wrote Eat, Love, Pray. She offended me yesterday. Or last night. The character did. I think they were making fun of Christians. They were being blasphemous. That's what it was. I've read enough of the book. I'm going to finish now. I'll just, I'll just remember that from here on out. I'll give her a bad review is what I'll do. I'll show her. If I gave her a bad review for that, it would only make her make more money. She'd only make more money. It would backfire on me. Do I, do I take offense when people make fun of Christians? I don't take offense personally because I don't care for my sake. I don't care if they make fun of Christians. I don't care if I'm called... Uh, narrow-minded, bigot, uh, self-righteous, uneducated, uninformed, just all, whatever. Yeah, I don't mind people laughing at me because I go to church. People apologize to me when they use God's name in vain. They go, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't care. Use God's name in vain. Just do it over there on that side of the room. All that because my author decided to make fun of people who believed that there was a God. Yes, I'm still reading the book. I didn't put the book down just because of that. Anyway, I'm late. That's all right. I'm sure somebody will see something snide like, Was the traffic heavy? run go get paper towels or whatever whatever yes I I am I am a peon a minion that's what I am a minion I have to look up the definition of that make sure I'm using it properly all right here's my makeup